Hi everyone, I'm Ken Schaefer and I'm here to discuss all things related to men's sexual health. Tonight, I'm continuing my series, The ABCs of Men's Sexual Health. And tonight, I'm covering the G in the ABCs of Men's Sexual Health. So let me get started. Today's word, G word, is gratitude. So there's a strong connection between the mind and the body and a healthy mind and helps you to have a healthy body. Practicing gratitude is something I do. It keeps me in a positive frame of mind and it has, it definitely has positive effects on my mental health and on my spiritual health. And I'm sure that rather directly or indirectly that plays into my physical health. I believe that the modern world, as it stands today, often creates the conditions make us physically and mentally ill. We're more isolated, and that's largely due to the internet and social media and no one going out. At the long bout we had with COVID and lockdowns and everything also played into that. But the modern world also affects us physically. We're very sedentary. Uh, it's very hard to find time and the motivation to exercise. We're not, we're getting exposed to a lot of toxins through our food, through plastic, through other sources. So you really need to do everything you can to keep yourself physically healthy and mentally healthy. And gratitude, I believe, is a way to do that. Here are some of the effects of practicing gratitude. It boosts your mental well-being. I've already discussed that. It puts you in a positive frame of mind. And that is going to boost your mental well-being. There's no question. It enhances your physical health. I'm not sure that it does it directly, but doesn't hurt. If your mind is in a good place, it's going to have a positive effect on your body. You can choose to believe me or not, but I think that the evidence is clear that it does have some effect, whether it's direct or indirect. It strengthens relationships. Yeah, this is important. The strength of your relationships is one of the leading indicators of happiness. It's one of the leading indicators of life satisfaction. The more friends you have, the closer you are with your family members, it all has an effect, a very positive effect on your state of mind and your happiness. And when you show the people in your life that you're grateful for what they do and who they are, obviously that's going to um, help your relationship. You're going to be happier with each other. You're going to be less irritated with each other. And it doesn't cost a thing. Just tell someone in your life that you're grateful for something that they've done or something that they do or who they are as a person. And that will make them happy and, and they'll, they'll reciprocate. It builds resilience happy people are more resilient people raises self-esteem yeah probably indirectly i think i feel better about myself when i'm showing gratitude towards others i feel that i'm a better person increases empathy and reduces aggression that's not why i practice gratitude the empathy part yes yeah. so showing people that you're grateful for what they do and who they are. That's a form of empathy. The aggression part, yeah, I don't know. If you're a very aggressive person, maybe it will change your level of aggression. I don't know. But it, I think it's a reasonable statement. Supports goal attainment. Yeah, when you're pursuing a goal, if your mindset is in a good place, you're more able and more willing to do what it takes to obtain that goal. You're, you're willing to do the work. 
if you're in a bad place, you're going to find reasons to just give up. It promotes optimism. It definitely promotes optimism. I'm a much more optimistic person when I'm practicing gratitude because I'm showing optimism to the people around me and and in return, they're being optimistic towards me and it just feeds into itself. Reduces materialism. I, d I don't know. Maybe it does. If you're happy and if you're in a good place, you probably are not looking for material objects to satisfy your inner needs. So yeah, I guess that's a pretty reasonable statement. Encourages spiritual growth. Yeah, I messed that one up. But yes, definitely. Gratitude, showing gratitude is a form of spirituality. And it's something that I believe most of the major religions, it, it may not be a major part of their teachings or their practices, but it's certainly in there. Develops uh, emotional intelligence. Emotionally intelligent people are empathetic people and empathetic people understand how to make those around them feel better about themselves and in return they help you to feel better about yourself spreads happiness in your social networks yeah that's what we've been talking about when you're good to the people around you they'll be good to you it it, it has a, a viral effect if you're good to someone it makes them happy then they're good to someone it makes them happy and the it just feeds on itself. So gratitude, practice it. And for men who are experiencing erectile dysfunction, you have a lot to feel down about. For men who are having prostate issues, you have a lot to feel down about. But it could always be worse. And there's always hope. And you should be grateful for what you have. You should be grateful that it's not worse than it is. You should be grateful that there are things that can be done about it. That's it for today. I just wanted to talk about gratitude. I think it's very underrated and uh, not talked about enough. I hope that you've listened to me and that you'll give it a try. You have nothing to lose. It costs literally nothing. That's it for tonight. Thank you for watching and goodbye.